In a speech at a Washington think tank, Ayashi referred to Russia's invasion of Ukraine and said such moves should never be allowed elsewhere. We are facing a watershed moment. What is happening in Ukraine must never be allowed anywhere in the world, including especially in the Indo-Pacific. We must all run the light lessons from the current situation in Europe. Russia's aggression needs to go down in history as a clear failure. Otherwise, it is inevitable that other countries will follow Russia and attempt to change the status quo by force. Referring to Chinese and Russian joint bomber flights near Japan in May, Hayashi said a stronger military coordination between China and Russia was emerging as a security concern. Even in this region, the logic of brute force is gaining more traction over the rule of law, and the strategic balance in the region is increasingly a challenge for Japan and the U.S., he said, referring to the Indo-Pacific. Hayashi, who was in Washington to launch a new 2 plus 2 economic dialogue with the United States, said ongoing unilateral attempts to change the status quo by force or coercion in the East and South China Seas were of growing concern, and referenced mounting China-Taiwan tensions by saying that stability across the Taiwan Strait was of extreme importance. Hayashi largely avoided mentioning China by name, but said it was essential to maintain a high-level, candid dialogue with Beijing, and that cooperation was also important when it was necessary, such as on climate change and North Korea. Hayashi also said there was an urgent need to strengthen the deterrence and response capabilities of the Japan-U.S. alliance, and said the Tokyo government planned to substantially increase defense budgets and fundamentally strengthen defense capabilities within five years. Hayashi also said it was necessary to keep all options, including counter-strike capabilities, on the table and to strengthen high-tech defense capabilities.